Well, I'm going to show you how to install Android R to really any Pixel phone. Now, you need that Pixel 2 or newer, and this isn't a crazy process. Don't be, like, deceived or, like, intimidated by, you know, you have to use command prompts or anything. It's really nothing too crazy. Now, first caveat, do not install this on your main device. Make sure you have a separate device. Do not install this on your daily your main phone that you use on an everyday basis. This is a beta and it's really unstable. I've had a lot of issues with mine, but luckily I don't have it on a main device. Now you do need a Windows device. You need a Windows computer or whatever. You need a USB cable to plug it into your Windows. This is not an over the air update, but you will be downloading the over the air for your specific pixel. So what you need to do, go to the first link down in the description. It'll take you to Google's website and you'll need to download your specific OTA update from their specific panel. It's really not too difficult. You just have to download it. But make sure you download the correct one. Do not download a Pixel 3 if you don't if you own a Pixel 2 and vice versa. Make sure you kind of follow that to a T. Now you also need to make sure you have Windows ADB platform tools on your device somewhere. It's literally a folder you download onto your device. I'll leave a link in the description where you can get those. And if you're not familiar with those, I would recommend watching how to like do command prompt with those things. It'll take like 10 seconds to learn it. It's not that hard. Or you can just follow this tutorial and figure it out from there. Now, once you have that platforms tools folder onto your device, you want to make sure that you have that OTA file already downloaded that's zipped. You don't want to unzip it yet. You want to take that OTA file and you want to put it within your ADB platforms tools folder. That is very, very important. That's where we're executing all the command prompt things. And if it's not in there, you're not going to be able to successfully compile this code the way that I'm doing it. Now you want to go on your Pixel device and you want to make sure you have developer settings on. So you just have to go to your build number, just click it like four or five times and it'll go through. And then you, once you're in the developer settings, you want to scroll down until you see USB debugging. You want to click on that and you want to enable that. And then eventually you'll get a little prompt on your device. And so at this point, what you want to do is you want to go into the platform tools folder. And then in that little search bar up top, you just want to type in CMD. And what this does is that it'll open a command prompt for your specific folder that you designated to so you don't have to like type in any like you don't have to direct it to that folder you can just type it in there and it will automatically do it which saves you a little bit of time now what you want to do at this point you want to put the phone in recovery mode so you want to start off by shutting down the phone then you want to turn on the phone once it's fully off you want to turn it on by holding on the, the power button and the volume down button at the same time and you want to hold those until you get a little boot up logo that looks kind of intimidating but don't be afraid of it and what you want to do is you'll see a little thing next to the volume button on the on part of the screen that says like reboot or whatever the case is you just want to click the volume up or down buttons until you get to the one that says recovery mode and once you see that you want to hit the power button and the phone will start booting into recovery now at this point you might get a little thing on your screen that shows like an android logo that's like shows like it's like dead or something like that and i don't know why google does this they need to make this thing look less intimidating but what you want to do at this point you want to hold down the power button and the volume up button for like a couple seconds some people say like it takes like one second or two seconds and usually that's about accurate so you want to hold those until and then just let go and then you'll see that it says android recovery up top and then you're pretty much almost there you're almost there and then at this point you want to hit that apply software update through adb and then you're pretty much all set and once you hit that you'll see a little screen at the bottom that shows like some text or whatever and at this point you just want to plug in your device to usb onto your windows i've already done this pretty much from the beginning but you can do it before or after it doesn't really matter now you want to go back to that cmd the, the command prompt panel and you want to type in adb devices and if you see your device on there if you see some build number and it says success or side load or whatever that means you're good if you don't see any devices or it says, or it says that it's empty you're not going to be able to do it you have to figure out that specific problem so you want to make sure that your specific phone is connected and it shows up on the command prompt now at this point what you want to do is you want to type in adb side load just like how i have it on there and then you want to type in the name of that zipped file now what you can do is that you can actually start typing in that name of the zip file just like the first couple of characters then you can hit tab and it'll fill in the rest of that folder so if your thing was you know pixel 2 rom or whatever it was you would just type in pix hit tab and then it'll basically fill out the rest or you can just copy the name of it and put it on there dot zip and that's really it but i find the tab thing saving a bit of time and then at this point you just want to hit enter and then just let the software do its thing and then you'll eventually be rebooted back into android r which it's pretty neat it's pretty cool that you're able to do that it doesn't take any data away so it doesn't like factory reset your phone but make sure you do a factory reset i probably should have said this in the beginning of the video but make sure you reset your phone you don't want to be in a position where all your data is gone and it's missing and this and that in case you do mess up your phone but that's pretty much the process if you guys have any other questions or anything leave it down in the comment section below hit that like button that means so much but definitely hit that subscribe button every single subscriber that we get really does count so it means so much if you guys could hit that also check out the other links down in the description as well my twitter my instagram my second channel all those links are linked down below i'd really appreciate it if you guys could
check it out. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. I'll fall catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to the. <laughs>